that. What? The Wild Things series continues, Dave. What series? <laughs> <laughs> what, what series? Do you remember Wild Things? No. What when, are you talking about? Do we, everybody remembers Wild Things in the steamy threesome with Nev Campbell and Denise Richards. Oh, I've heard of it. I never saw it. Was it were they in the pool together? They were in the Going pool, yeah. yeah. You know, I find that Nev Campbell uh, oddly attractive in some manner. Yeah, me too, Dave. I don't know what it is, but if you take her apart piece by piece, she's pretty ugly. <laughs> yeah. But all put together, I think she's pretty hot. There was a Wild Things 2. Which apparently I missed. <laughs> I think Lila Arcieri from Son of the Beach was in that one. Okay. Uh, even lower into the bead territory. Mm -hmm. There was a 3... And now here, this is the fourth one, and we're calling it Foursome Day. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Unrated. Right to DVD, a though. A tidal wave of sex, greed, and double cross, Ed. And uh, pay attention, Dave. I used every effect in our transitional arsenal you? during these uh, okay. upcoming DVD releases. Here. Why do I? Why am I oddly familiar with Tales of the Gold Monkey? This was a TV series from the okay. 80s. One of two, I think, that we're ripping off for Raiders right. of the Lost Ark. Is that John Rise Davies in the back, perhaps? It couldn't be because he was in Raiders of the Lost was Ark. It? They couldn't. Okay. Is that him? Yeah. Is it, it is really? him? Okay. Who's the, who's the guy? Not the Seven. Camden. The guy yeah. who played Camden there? <laughs> yeah. Steven something? What was his name? The producer should know. He watched all seven seasons of that for that. Uh, what's her name? That's how I discovered Jessica Biel. <laughs> Jessica yeah. Biel, yeah. yeah. And as she got older and the series rolled on, I said, I've got to watch this show because there's going to be her getting involved in some shenanigans. Mm. But anyway, Tales of the Gold Monkey, the complete series. So what's it got, two episodes? <laughs> this was just out, Ed. Just <laughs> out. This was in, they were all like the beginning of March. I okay. looked them up. They were all out. Wow. And what does that say on the bottom? A stunning masterpiece that requires and demands multiple viewings. That requires and demands multiple viewings. That's saying it was so confusing. Wow. <laughs> you can't figure out what was going on in this right. thing. <laughs> All right, let's see the next effect. Oh, very nice, Ed. Curb your enthusiasm. The, the 10 episodes I couldn't see on HBO or the websites they put them up on because you, you had to sign in or get to them some odd way. Uh, and they took them off the, immediately. <laughs> HBO pulled them. The producer saw them. Why is that? Why'd they pull them? Uh, HBO pulls. They don't want their stuff out there on the web. But I'll buy this one. This was the season where they worked in Seinfeld, a Seinfeld reunion. Okay into the storyline. I think I've seen three episodes of this. Only, <laughs> only during that free two-week uh, HBO trial, since uh -huh. I don't have HBO. Nip Tuck. Nip Tuck, the sixth and final season. Another yeah. show I watched. Really? I never That's saw that one either. Here. Why am I on this show? <laughs> you cover the shows that uh, I don't watch. From Paris with Love. Balding, the, a bald Travolta, now uh, who has somehow impregnated his wife. Uh, or, how old was she? I was going to look that up on the 47. web. 47. He's mm. 56. She's 47. Mm. I don't know whose seed it is, <laughs> but I'm almost certain it's not his. He's got an enormous head and face. Doesn't he? He didn't on that blow up I was watching last night on the. Oh, with uh, Nancy Allen? Yeah. The coolest Travolta since Pulp Fiction, Dave. Ooh. Oh, it's a 18 van. The complete series and a neat little van if you want to spend about $140. <laughs> <laughs> you got the little van there. Will you be doing that, Ed? Uh, if it comes... Oh, it, you're considering it? If it shows up at Big Lots, <laughs> Big Lots. <laughs> in a few months, I'll, I'll get it. Wow. The 18. I like the, the sets and the little cases, but not, I'm still waiting for that Land of the Giants to drop. <laughs> it was, that was $200. It had a nice little box. And it was like a cage. And all the little characters were in there. But it's $200 for two seasons. <laughs> all, all the story, yeah. All right. How much time we got? We got time for the story. Yeah. It's just a quick story about how you got to watch your kids. One of our classmates from high school, Apparently, a, an older man was texting her suggestive comments, and they pulled in the police. To One call. of our classmates? Yeah. Oh. What, was she posing as a young child? 
No, her daughter oh, okay. was getting these, and I don't know how the, she didn't go into the complete story, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but, but the police came and uh, got her phone, and they were monitoring, and they were talking back to the uh, guy. And as they, the 13-year-old girl. And, and they, did Chris Hansen come out? <laughs> it was one of those situations. And apparently they finally caught the guy and brought some closure to this. And but, where was this guy from? The area? I don't know how she, he got her number. you got to watch these kids. I'm sure the kid. You don't just get a phone number from a guy um, you know, out I, of the blue. Well, I will say this in my defense. <laughs> well, I'm not saying I'm the guy. Oh, no. Okay. I thought you were... Admitting to something. No, no. In my defense of the you know technology and phones and yeah. Facebook and computers and instant messaging and all this <laughs> texting crap of which I have no knowledge, mm -hmm. I do have very tight reins mm -hmm. on my child. Oh, that's good. Of course, Dave. I have two children. Mm -hmm. uh, one is much older mm -hmm. uh, and on his own. And a so male. To speak. Yes. Well, they're fine. Uh, the younger one, female. Mm -hmm. She doesn't go anywhere unless we know where she is and who she's with. Except for this uh, sleepover. Well, I That's knew. That's another thing. No, no, the sleepover, I knew the people okay. and the kids, and yeah. I did the dropping off. Whether they walked somewhere else, <laughs> you know, I, once, they're out of, once they're out of my hands, I mean, I can't, you can't chain them to the, to the house, Ed. You can't. No. They have to have some life. And you have, as long as you teach them well mm -hmm. and you drop them off, at the, you know, you drop them off at a house where you know the people and you know the other. You just got to hope for the best. Well, I don't know how this other girl got to the destination, uh, the friend's oh, right, house, right, right. but somehow she got to a male's house and slept over there and uh, lost their virginity. Ah! <laughs> I didn't know that part. And, and somehow got back to wherever she was supposed to be staying. I don't know if the friend was, how she was involved in the cover-up. Oh. It was, it was an operation at a 24. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they pulled it off, but somehow well, she was pulled it off, all right. <laughs> Things were pulled off, dropped off at the friend's house, wound up at the, the it wasn't even a boyfriend. It was one of these hookup things. Uh, lost the virginity, and then back to the friend's house, Ooh. all uh, under or over the radar wow. of the Wow. Now, see, that now that frightens me because when I do drop off <laughs> my daughter at a friend's house, <laughs> she could be sneaking down to the next apartment building. Oh, yeah. And yeah. next thing you know, she comes back walking like she just got off a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I'm glad I wasn't drinking during that. <laughs> We've got a couple minutes. Can we get to the game board? Oh. You don't think so? Well, let's All tell right. folks how they can write in. All right. we'll, we'll save it for the next show. We'll get to it the next We'll time. have plenty of time on the next show to get to the game board. Uh, the picture pairs. What happens there, Dave, while I take a sip well, of water? Well, what happens there, Ed, is you so just write in to this here email address and pick two numbers. Give us two numbers from one to six, including one to six, and pick two numbers, and if you, and if we turn those, we pick your name, we draw your num numbers, flip them over, and if pictures match, Ed, you win tickets to a film. Two tickets. Yes. Two tickets. And since they're charging people 20 bucks in Manhattan by mistake, that's very <laughs> important. <laughs> Is that another story? For... Well, yeah, it was on the news. Oh. They were charging 20 bucks for uh, the Shrek film, and Eight. they said it was a mistake. I don't think it's a mistake if you see it at IMAX because it's seventeen dollars over here. Oh. I was gonna see Iron Man two over there. I'll see it in IMAX. Seventeen dollars. Oh, add your voice. My way up. <laughs> Eight dollars for a matinee, which is oh, still, well, but still reasonable. That's all right. Talk about Iron Man next time, maybe. Well, maybe. A full month after it's come out. <laughs> well, it might be on DVD. <laughs> it might be. It's heading for DVD now. We'll see you next time. Thank you.